personal friends, new friends, old friends, friends that I haven't met yet, and, you know, maybe some friends that I knew from another lifetime. I don't know, maybe that we all were in another lifetime together. Living in the in-between is the topic that Dr. Eric and Jillian were talking about this week. And for myself this time, I realized that I was started to think through the life in between in a different way than I have before, which is really good for me because I know that in this in-between life, we're here to grow. And it helped for me to look at it in a new way. That phrase of, I am living in this world, but not of it, was a quote that Jillian talked about this past week, but also I've heard it from many other spiritually awakening people who use it as a way of helping us realize that while we are living in this life, it is not our true home and that our home is with God or our source. And as Dr. Eric began talking about in between as this lifetime I'm living right now here as Terry Larkin sitting here talking to all of you, that is the in between each time we move home, go home to a God, to our source. And that was exactly opposite of how I thought about it in the past. Whenever I thought of the in-between, I would think of in-between earthly lifetimes. The fact that we were moving back to our source for more growth, more learning. That love, that unconditional love that we needed to renew ourselves in between lifetimes. So then this time, just like my yoga the other day. I was outside doing yoga and I got ready to do downward dog and I'm looking up and realizing I had a different view of the sky from upside down. And I was looking at that sky with a new perspective. And that's what this talk has done for me. Now there's a couple examples that I'd like to, to tell you a story that helps you perhaps illustrate what I'm trying to say when I talk about the fact that our heart keeps us grounded as we walk back and forth in between these two worlds. And we see pieces and parts of that as we are growing and expanding. A couple of years ago, I was in, in an airport and I, I was flying back from a conference and I was doing a lot of serious spiritual thinking I will say that and but as I was on the airplane my head just became just my ears were so plugged it was like oh my goodness my head was a melon and I figured by the time the plane landed that my hearing would clear and I would be able to hear but it didn't and I got off that plane, barely able to hear the people around me or anyone talking. And it was really quite an uncomfortable feeling. But it was, I had a couple hours in between flights, so I thought I needed to grab a, something to eat and then sit back down and wait for the plane to depart. And as I sat there, I realized how much inward I was going because of the fact that my hearing wasn't there. But I began to realize I was hearing sounds. And the sounds that I was hearing were not the sounds of airport conversation and, and announcements and all of the busyness of an airport. You can imagine O'Hare Airport and how jam-packed it is with people. But instead, I was hearing nature sounds. And I was hearing insects and birds and frogs. And I kept thinking, Wow, where is that? Now the doubting self immediately says, okay, somebody's got a recording nearby here or something. And so I'm looking around and then I'm realizing, no, it's coming from within me. Was it a memory? Was it a, a I was analyzing to think, was this Chicago before 
the time before airport was even there and it was more nature? Was I hearing that? And I really grew within myself. And then after a while of just reveling in that beautiful, peaceful, calm, wonderful place, all of a sudden I looked up and there was absolutely no people around sitting by me. And I looked up at the desk to see them, you know, last call, last call or whatever. And I thought, wait a minute, what happened? I went running up to the desk and I said, I said, my goodness, I, I missed the call that we were boarding. And she said, are you Terry Larkin? And I'm going, yes, I am. And she said, well, we've been calling you and calling you, and we were not hearing from you. We've closed the door, but let me see if we can get you right back on. Well, they had given away my seat, and I had to go all the way to the back. But what happened to me there? I went within. Now, it reminds me of what happens in a reconnective feeling session. You go within and you take that perception. It's that perception of what you thought you were hearing, the perception of what was really around you that you, I could see. And that's what we do in a reconnective healing session. We're taking that out, our perception of what should happen or what should take place. And those two are examples of how we move ourselves into that space of no time and no space. Now in our everyday life, our experiences that we have, we don't have to be gone somewhere to take that perception of what we think is truth, open up and be that God force that we know that we all are. You know, we're not separate from one another. We're not separate from God. And once we take that perception away, we realize that we're God in action. We're in love in action. And we can respond in love. We can be in that love place. Just in those everyday experiences that, that are so important to the growth. Because I know this in-between where we are learning, we are taking ourselves to another level of understanding. And so those everyday experiences have to be some of the most important ones that we have. Thank you for listening. I hope that maybe you'll comment on, on the examples I gave as that place of in between, that rich earthly life existence that's so important for us right now. And see that it's our perception. So thank you for listening. Please comment in the, in the comments. I'd love to hear what you're thinking and what you think of the, of the two examples that I gave that help us see through that perception. Thanks.